You ever have a dream that kind of just makes you question your relationship? Well, I had a dream and it made my girlfriend question our relationship. I, I, uh, I peered into the fourth dimension. Uh, yeah, I may have snuck a peek into the unknown. <laughs> okay, when it comes to fight or flight, for me, it's always gonna be fight, okay? A, a very flighty style fight, but there is an aspect of fight in there. I... Uh, left my girlfriend to die. I left my three-dimensional girlfriend to fend off a four-dimensional beam. I was dead asleep, laying next to my girlfriend who is soon to be dead awake. I rolled over and made eye contact with a one-eyed ceiling monster. I'll try to make this simple. The monster broke through time and space, sheetrock, and whatever else ceilings are made of, and peered through the looking glass of time at me running away. <laughs> and I somehow ended up behind a pillow shield that I had crafted myself amidst the skerfuffle, leaving my girlfriend uh, vulnerable. What I saw was a threat. Uh, what she saw was me running away with my own pillow shield. I ended up falling back asleep. Then when I fell back asleep, I had a dream that the one-eyed ceiling monster was me, okay? And I was looking at me, myself, on the bed, which, don't do that, is creepy. And then when we woke up, she starts asking me all these questions that I don't have answers to. Babe, I would have loved to beat up on some fourth dimensional me, but the way that I'm built in this dimension and the way that our ceilings are 10 feet, I wouldn't have been able to get a good punch in if I had a six foot ladder, let alone the time to set it up. He would have seen it coming way telegraphed. And I didn't run away. I built a fort for us. You were just slow to get there.